Okay, this is the uh, original SA4732. I had the one that um, wouldn't switch into SSB properly. I'll show you the pictures in a moment, but I've just opened it up and got my uh, smaller soldering iron out and attempted to unbridge the bridged pins on the Arduino. So let's have a look if it's had any effect. Let's press the mode button. And yep, okay, sure enough, we're now in the uh, lower sideband. And we've got a BFO um, that works. So, mission accomplished, I think. So that was their uh, bridged pins uh, on the Arduino that were causing that. You'll see my encoder's going the wrong way since I did the update on this uh, radio. So I'll show you how to um, remedy that if anyone else has got that issue. When I turn the encoder to the right, I'm going down in frequency, I turn it to the left. I'm going up in frequency, but the encoder works, oddly enough. So that's the main thing. We can easily uh, remedy this uh, wrong way round situation. I'll show you how. My original SI4732, as it came to me, would not work on SSB. Uh, when I pressed the mode button, all it did was simply change the bandwidth and... Uh, Although I found a, a workaround courtesy of uh, Ricardo, Ricardo Karate, uh, by repurposing the AGC button, uh, when I came to upgrade the firmware on the original SI4732, that upgrade um, stopped the, the workaround from working. So I had no alternative but to open the radio up again and fix the problem. And what you're looking at here is... Uh, a picture of the underside of the uh, SI4732 uh, main board where the Arduino chip is soldered onto the main board and I think if you look towards the right of the the pins um, if you look at the body of the the metal case of the receiver the black metal case and if we count one two three pins back you'll see that the third pin closest to the case and the fourth pin there's a solder bridge there and that's that's how the receiver came so that had to be removed I've just zoomed out slightly here so you can get a better picture of uh, just what we're looking at and um, it's difficult to slide this board right the way out of the case because you can see a red and black wire there they're going to the battery in the radio and the battery appears to be glued to the bottom of the case so to pull this board right out, you'd either have to prise the battery off the base of the case or uh, desolder this power lead, the, the red and black uh, wires there. But uh, as luck would have it, I was able to pull it far enough out and without straining these wires to, to do the job. And uh, here's a view of the problem from a slightly different angle. And you can clearly see that uh, these two pins here as you look at the picture now, it, uh, it you, there's a pin conceal where it looks like the third pin along from the case. And the second pin, actually it's the third and fourth, but you, you, with the lighting you can't see the, the first pin. But anyway, you can clearly see that these two pins are, are bridged with a, a blob of solder. And uh, just for reference, here's a better picture of the, uh, the red and black wires that are running to the battery. You can see I've the way I've pulled it out. There's very little slack left in these wires now, so you, you wouldn't be able to remove the board entirely. As I say, you'd either have to uh, prise the battery off the base of the case here, or just um, just take these two connections out while you did any work. 